All right, we are back with another episode of 31 Days Halloween Ranked Countdown. And we are getting to it with number seven today. And uh, we'll be getting to that here very shortly. Before we get started on that, go ahead and let everybody know we're going to go through the basics on this yet again because I do this on every show. So the way that it works is everyone's entitled to their opinion. I am as well. That being said, if you want to have a discussion, if you want to put comments on here or whatever, we're good with that. If you come in here with the sole intent of trolling, not so much. We will have to remove those because it's all about the fun. It's the holiday season. It's supposed to have fun this time of year. So at number seven on the ranked list, and we're within my top ten now. So at number seven is seven. Yeah, seven is seven. Yeah, I said it. I did that on purpose, and it actually fits with what I wanted to do as well. So seven is seven. Seven was a movie that, uh, oh, it's it's a mind, mind screw up thing, whatever. Oh, it's terrible. The worst part about seven, the best part at the same time, is that the the way that the murders, the way that things were being done in there had been planned out so far in advance and knew exactly how the police and everybody were going to react so that it would push them to the next one and to the next one. Unreal. Absolutely unreal how that thing was set up. Uh, it took uh, Morgan Freeman to a whole different place, a uh, much darker place than, than he has been in the past, uh, which led to a bunch of other roles similar. Uh, Brad Pitt, say what you will about the guy. I mean, his acting in this one was on point because, especially at the very end, yeah. I mean, there are spoilers in some of these things. This is you know kind of right there as well, but what's in the box is probably one of the biggest memes that's out there still to this day, uh, used very frequently, and it's because of this movie right here, because whenever Brad Pitt's character wanted to know what was in the box that was sent to them while they were out in the middle of pretty much nowhere with this killer. Um, yeah, everything was put into motion. It's like the ultimate chess game of chess games. Uh, staying so many moves ahead of everybody and everything that's on there. Seven took the seven deadly sins and just blasted them out there. Seven deadly sins. People were kind of, I guess you would say, uh, judged upon them. And then judgment was rendered above and beyond. I'm not big on gore movies. Uh, you know that from watching some of my other ones that are on here and everything and me talking about it. And Seven does have the gore factor. Do not get me wrong. But to get past that and to go into strictly the messing with your mind phase of this thing was just phenomenal. So if you have not seen it, Seven needs to be on your list. Epic. Awesome. Definitely there. It was going to be in my top ten anyway. It just ironically fell into the number seven spot. So hope you enjoyed this one. We're going to keep going with the, uh, the next one tomorrow being number six. And we're getting closer and closer to my number one, so keep that in mind. But uh, please remember, like, subscribe, and share today if you're enjoying the content on here. Subscribe so you don't miss out on any of this. Uh, we're, we're moving down to almost my number one of what I, what I consider my number one uh, scary movie. And again, I'm explaining why I put these things in here and what it means to me, not just a general synopsis of what these are. So keep that in mind. But seven definitely needs to be in your list. These other ones, I mean, they can or can't be if you wish. I mean, everybody has their opinion. I already said that. But just kind of have some fun with it. But I'd like to know what everyone else is thinking. Uh, if you're doing a list, 31 Days of Halloween, and you were to put a seventh spot on there, you know, because seven and 13 are kind of important spots on there as long as, you know, number one being the most important. But yeah. I want to know everyone's number seven. So go ahead and comment on there and let me know what would be your seventh ranked Halloween scary movie on your list. And until then, keep in mind, all eyes are on you this holiday season.